Caleb, Will, JD, Yuritsi, Emmy, Wyatt, Ben, Bryce, Trinity, Andrew, Sophie, Freddie, Lindsay, Morgan, Chris, Mary, Caitlin, Rosa. Why a thousand names? Every name represents a kid, a story, a life. 1,000 families, 1,000 sets of friends, 1,000 dreams, visions, beliefs. When you know someone's name, you can begin to know their story, who they really are, and what matters to them. Tillman, Andreas, Colin, Maggie, Brady, Ken, Carson, Ava, Reese, Maddie, Taylor, Rachel, Emily, Anna, Danielle. Who doesn't love being called by their name? Knowing a thousand names of a thousand students gives us a thousand opportunities to share the hope and love the relationship with Jesus Christ brings. I love how it makes me feel very happy and just loved by everybody including Jesus and just happy place to be. My young life leaders are super nice. Even from the beginning I was like, whoa, they're so nice. Like they don't even know me, but now they're just amazing. I look up to them and I text them all the time for help and they're amazing. They invited me to their church and I've been going ever since, well like here and there. And I just thought that was really nice of them to invite me to some place where they were closer to Jesus and you know that just helped me out. It's nice to like be in the same place as them when they're learning and I'm learning as well. I've really grew stronger in my faith through young life. What is your favorite part of wildlife? Probably Creeks I can. Creeks I can. Creeks um, I probably, can. probably like just playing games and everything. Um, my favorite memory is the games because I always like do something like that. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, I liked the girl spot where we watched the movie. Hanging out with friends and you guys, you guys are really cool. My favorite part about Young Life is probably um, like, all the activities. How's it going, George? Excited for tonight? Yep. What are you looking forward to? The games and stuff. Yeah? You see yeah. the food over there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the food over there. Also the cookie stuff. Some of my friends from Silicon High School may be coming or Duke Pond may be coming though. I think I think I got here first though. You I did? got here first before everyone else did. Like because you were excited? Yeah. I think I arrived at least about five I think I think probably about five fifty four I, I arrived here, I think. This is a very awesome place here. You know Fisher? Oh, of course I do. He likes Young Life a lot. Does he come and talk to you at school? Oh yeah, he does. On Wednesdays he does. He works at the Young Life Barbecue. The Young Life Barbecue at the Washington State Fair. I have worked there until September. I'm planning to go back this September again. I was in cheerleading, ASB. I was in band, pretty much really involved in school. But I kind of stopped motivation with school when I got pregnant, so I haven't finished school. Losing my dad, having a baby, and being homeless, like, it all hit me at one time. And so, ever since my daughter's pretty much been born, I've been bouncing from house to house to house. So, that's been really hard, but, um, I'm working on it. Like, it's, like, good to have, like, these groups, like, when I first had her, I wanted a group that has like other teen moms, like, because people don't understand how it is being a teen mom. Everybody sees you as like this failure or this messed up. Nobody sees the bright side of being a teen mom. So that's why groups like this really help. Um, my favorite part is just having people to rely on because I feel like I don't have anybody to talk to because nobody else understands. So being around other moms that are going through the same thing as me, it's like easier and like the leaders too they all have a past too so it like helps seeing them successful and make me feel like i can be successful too well my daughter doesn't really have a lot of you know baby friends and so when she comes here she gets to interact with other kids which helps i didn't want to be the mom that my mom was to me because i left in seventh grade my mom is a drinker i was a little troublemaker back then <laughs> So and then everything just completely switched when she was born. I want her to see the world. I don't want her to be cooped up and because when you get cooped up, I feel like that like makes you have anxiety and like depression and all that stuff. So I feel like if I get her out and about and in activities and having fun and stuff like that and not shaming her for certain things, I just feel like that would be better. I don't have a lot of like mommy friends, 
So it's nice to be around people who have kids and are doing similar things than you. They always ask, you know, how are you doing? And they give us tips and everything. And if we need anything, you know, they make us feel comfortable enough to ask. And they come here and they feed us and they hang out with us. And we get fun stuff to do and they watch our kids for us. So it's a lot of fun. It's nice to be able to talk to people about what's going on in your life and people that you can trust and actually be like, okay, they're, you know, because everyone goes through the same stuff. Like, okay, they're going through it with me and they're, you know, there. Liam, Ricky, Maya, Judah, Zach, Jason. We realize that for every thousand names of kids that we do know, there are several thousand more that we don't know. Javi, Aaron, Jordan, Jordan, McKenna, Aubrey, Matthew, Nathan, Nathan Mitchell, Keaton, Ryland, Jack, Amy, Paul, Montana, Carly, Alex, Jack, Gavin, DeAndre, Gracie. A thousand names sounds like a lot, but for us it's just the beginning.